In Envisioneer, there are many different ways that you can view and subsequently print your model. The display mode tool slips the model into wireframe mode, a more technical look at the model, hidden line, great for printing when you're not sure of color schemes yet, rendered, which is the default for 3D views, rendered outline, which emphasizes details nicely, and patterned, which will replace the textures with hatch patterns associated to the materials. While you're in any of these display modes, you can also take advantage of changing the type of view. Go to View, Dynamic Cutaway. This tool strips a portion of the building away to reveal what is behind. Great for highlighting framing details. You can even go a step further once you've picked the display mode and cutaway style and turn on and off the visibility of elements to make an entirely different view. Select View, View Filters, View Filter. I'm going to unlock the framing, turn the visibility of everything in my model on, and then I'm going to lock the framing again to lock it in the on position. I then hit Display None, which will turn everything off but my framing. I'm going to turn back on everything on the foundation location to highlight how the framing is supported on the foundation. I click OK, and I have that new view. All of the various views of this model that we looked at can be inserted on a worksheet and printed out. I hope that makes your Envisioneer work one step easier.